Welcome back. As you may have heard by now, the United States now has the most known cases of the new coronavirus worldwide, surpassing China, where the virus started, as well as Italy. The impact here in the U.S. has not only been felt here in Texas, but coast to coast. Our Washington correspondent, Anna Wernicke, gives us a look at our nation's capital and how it's been affected. Thanks, Robert. Just to give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on here in Washington, D.C., right now I'm standing on the rooftop of my apartment building just a few blocks away from the Capitol. Typically this time of day, it's bumper to bumper traffic, but what we're seeing down on the streets are maybe one or two cars, if that. And when I was at the Capitol earlier this week, that's exactly what we're seeing. A lot of offices are shut down. A lot of staff are working from home. All Capitol tours and public access is closed, so the only people on the Hill are the senators. A few lawmakers now have tested positive for the coronavirus, so everyone is taking a little bit of extra precaution, self-quarantining, staying home if possible. Uh, Congress is likely not to return back to D.C. for quite some time, and D.C. did announce yesterday that they are closing all non-essential business until the end of April. So what we're seeing right now, all of this quiet activity on the street, seems like it's going to be for quite some time. For right now in Washington, I'm Anna Warnicke, KXAN News. I'm Dan Tilkin in Portland, Oregon, and even though it's raining, on a typical Friday lunch hour, there'd be a lot of people out here. Instead, you only have folks like these two, construction workers, because that's one of the few jobs that's still allowed to continue uh, during the governor's stay-at-home order. Now, we border on the state of Washington, where there's 10 times as many cases, and the governor in Washington has put in much stricter guidelines. There's 14 pages of who has to stay home, or what's considered essential. In Oregon, uh, all restaurants have to be closed down, but if you can do your job with social distancing six feet apart, then you are allowed to continue. But as you can see, most of the city has come to a standstill. I hope you folks in uh, Austin, Robert, are doing a lot better. Dan, thanks. Very much the same circumstances here, some 2,000 miles away. Stay safe out there.